Hi there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel. Today we're talking all about e-commerce and time pressure, and more importantly, how you can use those things to your advantage during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. We know the holiday season is upon us, and with that comes tons and tons of online shopping. So here at ChatFuel, we wanna prepare you to respond to that in the best way possible. We're gonna start here in the welcome message. Obviously, you can use this time pressure technique at any point in the bot, but for simplicity, we'll start here on the welcome message. And we'll begin by clicking the more option here and choosing the JSON API plugin. I'm not gonna discuss APIs in depth here, but essentially an API is a tool that allows you to fetch information and real-time data from an external source. In other words, you don't have to create a unique block for every day of a countdown timer, for example, or every second, right? That would be a nightmare. So instead you can dynamically import that data in real time based on when a user is interacting with your bot. Now that we have the JSON API plugin here, which will fetch the current time and show us that countdown, we're going to change the type here from post to get, and then we're going to paste in the URL that I have in the description of this video. This is a custom API endpoint that I've created that will allow you to use this countdown timer in your bot. And then there's two final things to customize in this base template API URL here. And the first is obviously the date here. So the order of this is year, month, and day. And then the second field over here is bot time zone. And I'll explain that more in a second. So first let's set the date. This is obviously the date of whatever the event is taking place. So in this case, we have it set to December 18th, which happens to be seven days before Christmas. And for this countdown timer, we're going to be telling users of our bot how many days left they have to order to ensure whatever they're ordering will arrive by Christmas. So that's our goal here. And then we have the bot time zone set here, which in this case is set to dynamically import whatever the user's time zone is. But in most cases, you probably don't want that unless you are a global business, maybe you have tons of different shipping distribution centers, and it really depends on that local user's time to ensure that they'll get their order by Christmas. So in this case, we're just going to hard code in a value. In my case, that value will be, oops, let me repaste this in. In this case, my value is gonna be negative four. That's my time zone being in Washington, DC. If you wanna find out what your value is, you can go to this world time zone map. I'll put a resource to this in the description and then you can find out what that would be. Although it is important to test this endpoint by copying it and pasting it in your browser and ensuring that the time matches up with your expectations because due to daylight savings, sometimes this can be off. For example, technically, as I just showed you, my code is negative four, but according to this map, I'm actually in negative five. So depending on whether or not your locality uh, actually uses daylight savings or not, it's important to double check. So again, copy and paste that link that you use into your browser to ensure it's correct. But this is essentially where you can get that negative four number or whatever yours might be. Great, so we have that all set up. Now let's actually test this request and we can make sure that everything's working. So great, it shows all of these attributes that are being set and it says we have 23 days, 12 hours, four minutes, 10 seconds until December 18th, which is again, great. This will now allow us to use this data to inform the user how much time they have left to order. Perfect, so now let's actually craft the message to the user because this is all just happening in the background at this point, the user won't see anything. So now let's add some text here and say, hi, first name, you have, then we'll use this attribute up here, days until. So you have days until days, because the days until is just gonna give us the number, so we wanna proceed that by saying days. So hi, Andrew, you have 23 days left to order so that your shipment will arrive by Christmas. Great, so let's test this and show you what it looks like. Perfect, so hi Andrew, you have 23 days left to order so that your shipment will arrive by Christmas. Amazing. Obviously we could get more in depth too if we wanted to. So for example, we could say 
23 days and if we wanted to do hours too we could so we could say hours until and then again add hours after that and then let's test this again perfect so now we have this information dynamically updating and we are good to go now let's use a little bit of a different example here I'm gonna copy and paste this URL again or actually I can just keep it there but let's say instead of just telling people how much time they have left, let's say we want to give them a different experience based on if they are before that countdown timer ends or after it. So let's say that we're selling a face mask, a product, and we want to give a special offer to people who order within the next day, let's say. So let's change this to November 25th, let's say. Let's test it. And great, so now it's only 12 hours remaining. And so what we can do here again is gate access and automatically end that offer, even if we're asleep, let's say, and redirect people who didn't get that offer to different content. So let's start by adding a gallery card here. Here we'll add the product and give them that special offer. So I'll do that by uploading an image. Okay, great. We'll call this face mask. Maybe we'll add a price on it and we could add a URL, etc. I'm not going to go into the details here because you get the idea, but we have our product here and then let's say we want to restrict access. So let's say first let's add a text card here. Actually, let's say you have let's get those attributes again. So you have hours until this offer expires for 20% off your order. Okay, great. So as an overview, the user's coming into the bot, we're fetching how much time's left in this offer, we're telling them, and then we're giving them that offer. But let's say that we wanna check if it's after that time, and again, redirect them to different content. So to do that, I'm gonna click to add a new card here, We'll choose this redirect to plugin. And now we can filter out to determine if all of those times are zero, then we're gonna redirect them and say, hey, sorry, the offer expired. If days until is zero and hours, hours until is zero and minutes until is zero, and obviously you get the idea, we'll end with seconds until is zero, meaning the timer has completely run out, then we're going to redirect them and we can redirect them to a block called, let's say, offer expired. Okay, and then here on this block, we can say, sorry, the offer expired. You know, here's another product and we could redirect them to a different product that is similar, let's say, but obviously that offer is expired. So in a nutshell, this is how you can use countdown timers and time pressure to incentivize people to purchase your products on your e-commerce store. Obviously, there's so many different applications here. I've just shown you two examples. One is where you're telling users how many days they have left to order for something to arrive by Christmas or whatever other date you'd like to choose. Or this other option where you're giving people the opportunity to choose an offer, but if they come too late, they're not able to get that offer. Again, this happens all in the background, all on autopilot. Even if you're sleeping, it's not something you have to manage or worry about. Hopefully this video was helpful. I look forward to hearing about how you plan on using this for your Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and any other online offers during the holiday season. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and happy botting.